things, it's Ian from RDO here. Welcome to the start of another week and a busy day today. Two birthday top tens as well today, apart from the regular videos we do on a Monday. So we're going to kick off today with um, a, a lady called Diane. Now this is Hugh Scott, one of our subscribers, older sister. We did a, his brother, was it last week? We got his... I got his sister this week. So happy birthday, Diane! Um, born tenth of June, nineteen seventy-six, and I know exactly what I was doing on the tenth of June, nineteen seventy-six. I was at school because it was a Thursday. It was my last year at my lower school. My last few weeks at the lower school before I went to the big school. Anyway. Leap year was 1976, uh, because we had the Olympics in Montreal, sort of goes with leap years, Olympics do, um, and Diane is what we call Generation X, uh, a star sign is Gemini, and it's the Chinese zodiac year of the dragon. Now in 1976, we just had a a new Prime Minister. He'd only been Prime Minister since April the 5th, and that was James Callaghan. Um, birthdays on this day. Who did you share your birthday with, Diane? Well, no one's actually born on this day, but I went through uh, the history and found some interesting ones. So the first one we got, we've got a heavenly birthday. Now, uh, this is Hattie McDaniel. She was born in 1895 died in 1952. That's who she is, and you all must recognise her now. Uh, she was the first African-American actress to win an Oscar for Gone with the Wind. And she played a very good part, and she was born in Kansas. Um, celebrating her birthday today, the 30, 41st in fact, is Lily Sabowski. Sabowski. Uh, she's an American actress. Uh, she was in Deep Impact and um, Joan of Arc and was born in New York City. And in 1987, Swedish golfer Anna Nordsvisk. She has won the Ladies PGA Championship in the British Open in 2021, was born in Sweden. So we'll have a look at the history. And there's something that happened on this very day in 1976 67,000 fans attend a Wings concert in Seattle's King Dome part of his well America tour which was a great album but we have to go back in time for a few more we'll go back to 1770 and James Captain James Cook was the first European to discover the Great Barrier Reef off Australia by running aground on it. So that's interesting. And in 1933, uh, John Dillinger rubs his first bank in New Carlisle, Ohio, and he takes $10,600. So that's the history, but we're not here for history. We would like to know what was in the top 10 in the UK when um, Diane was born. So let's cue the music. And at number 10, down two places for the Sutherland Brothers in the arms of Mary. Great song. Uh, I like this song and it got a bit of a reprieve back in the 90s with the American Pie films, it was, I think it was in the first one. Um, it's a great song, I've always liked this song, uh, pretty good. At number 9, up a big 11 places this week, Melba Moore, This Is It. I remember this, I was about 9 and 3 quarters when this came out. Uh, yeah, it was a bit of a disco -y tour thing. Just about remember this one, because I wasn't into disco, not even in 1970, as a 9 year old. I was still, I was listening to Slade and Sweet. At number eight, 
down in one place for the Bellamy Brothers and Let Your Love Flow, a classic song from 1976. Remember seeing this on Top of the Pops a few times. That's a pretty good tune from that period. Number seven, down in one place, The Rolling Stones and Fool to Cry. Now, it's never been one of my favourite uh, Rolling Stones songs, um, but it was cool to see it in the, the, in the charts then. Um, and I love the piano in this. Okay, number six, down three places. I mean, it's, it's, it's low from Robin Sars. Then I can just about remember this. Um, I'm not a very big fan of this, but it was popular on the radio, so it's doing quite well. At number five, up 17 places. The real thing, you are me to, to you, you to me are everything. Classic now, isn't it? Um, got a lot of play, airplay was on top of the pops. Um, I don't mind this disco song, actually, it's not too bad. At number four, we have a non mover from ABBA and the wonderful Fernando. Everybody remembers this sitting by the campfire in the video, lovely singing on it. It's a great track, absolutely great track. At number three, down three places, so it was last week's number one. JJ Barry, no charge. <laughs> oh, my granddad didn't like this. He hated it. He said it's a bit, he called it sanctimonious American dribble. It's a story, isn't it, about a kid? Yeah, and charging his mum and she, yeah, not, not my cup of tea. At number two, having played to 67,000 people in Seattle, he had a song that was up three places, Paul McCartney and Wings, Silly Love Songs. This should have been a number one, and it was kept off the top from the previous track, and the one that is number one. I love this song, it's a great song from Wings. But at number one, up one place, the first of two weeks, Combined Harvest at the Wurzels. How could this keep wings off number one? Now, for our American friends, this song is actually a remake of Melanie's brand new king. But it's a Combined Harvester because the Wurzels are from the West Country and farming. It's, I don't like this, never have, never will, uh, but I'm afraid, Diane, it was number one on the day that you popular that were always on the telly. So, <laughs> we can't have everything, can we? I mean, silly love songs would have been a better number one for you, but uh, unfortunately that's how the cookie crumbles. Anyway, Diane, I hope you have a great day. Uh, it's great that Hugh gets these done for you. You know, he, when it, he gave me the whole sibling list to do, and it's a pleasure to do it. Um, and I hope you have a really good day. Okay, this has, this, for this one, we've got another birthday top 10 coming up, and this one's for a, a very special friend. So, um, I'll see you later. Bye for now.